Maxine Soleil, Jules Gunon, and Jordan Pepper, two out of the, the three great South African uh, heritage. Guys, welcome back. And uh, car number seven, you've got a championship to win. Jordi. Yeah, exactly. It's always good to be back in South Africa. Um, it's a bit weird. Obviously, we've had a, an interesting year, to say the least. So let's see. Obviously, ending the, the final round, three points behind the championship, we've got to go out and win. And yeah, it's pretty much that's what we've got to do and end off. Bentley's factory program as well as like our, our time together for the time being on on high. It's a bit of a, um, a a moment of happiness and of sadness back in South Africa. A little bit of pressure off out of Europe, but mega pressure championship, and Bentley need to go out on a high. Yeah, exactly. Uh, when we were packing, I was tough to come here without the shoot, obviously, but. Uh, it was a bit emotional because we have been working together since now more more than three years. So it's always sad when the when the good time finish. But uh, you know, on amazing adventure, it's always unfortunately has an end at one point. And uh, to be third in the championship, three points behind the leader, two points behind the second, it's really exciting for us. We are the hunters, and uh, I really feel good for this weekend. The boys, we have been having good time in the Kruger. We were really lucky. We saw a lot of nearly the big five. So I think we have some luck this weekend, hopefully. Like that story about the hunter, the hunter, bit of background. Maxine, um, Bella Bella, <laughs> Only, I discovered that just now. How did that come about that you come from Bella Bella? It's just that my parents moved uh, from Europe to uh, South Africa for a couple of years and uh, I spent uh, my childhood in Bella Bella. You remember some Afrikaans? Yeah. Just no good. <laughs> <laughs> So, last race, surely the, I mean, this can't be the end for the three of you together, or, um, you know, Bentley out of the, the factory support, is there a chance of Bentley carrying on next year? Yeah, of course, I think the, the, the plan is obviously the cars are till till the end of 2021, so hopefully we see a few Bentleys on the grid next year in different championships, and hopefully we, we're obviously also driving them, but yeah, gone, gone are the, the years of Bentley factory racing for the time being, but you know, as as things are moving ahead, GT3 programs come to an end. I'm sure you're seeing a lot of shift in the international media with everything going towards hybrid, electric and stuff. And they've made it pretty clear that they want to come back to motorsport. And yeah, maybe maybe we can go after some b bigger 24-hour races in the future. And, I and if I had the choice, I'd, I'd choose these two guys as my teammates 10 out of 10 times. That's the right answer. The only uh, the bigger 24-hour race that um, you can only be referring to, to Le Mans, and is uh, that something that you like to do? Yeah, I would really like to do. I've done it twice already, but never with a Benley. And obviously the Benley boys have a street in Le Mans uh, because it's a, I think they won fi five times from the beginning of uh, the history of Le Mans in the 20s. So uh, it's a shame, yeah, that the program stopped. But like Jordan said, uh, you, we never know in this, in this sport, maybe Bentley is going to come back in the future and hopefully we can have a go again all together. I think we have uh, one of the best relations I've never had in a, in a race car with my teammates. So uh, hopefully we can uh, pull out something uh, out again. What is it that makes you gel, the three of you gel and work together so nicely? I think we each have a part in the team. Uh, I'm the calm one that has to calm the kids down sometimes because they go a bit uh, hectic. But uh, now we each has our part and that works really well. We know exactly what to do and, uh, and we trust each other. Every time you know, he, somebody gets it, Jordan or Jules getting in the car, we know the car's going to come back and, uh, and it's fast so we can go and have a nap. And from a setup point of view, you're all pretty close and you all, have, I suppose, after three years have kind of learned to drive with some of the other guys' setups. To be honest, Max is the only old school guy uh, <laughs> still braking with the right foot. He's always looking for the clutch pedal or something. But in, with that being said, there's, there's, with each car, with each brand, there's a specific style to make the car fast. And I think we, first of all, we give the same feedback. We, we don't try over complicated things and we, we like a similar style in the end, so it makes it super easy. Also, we, with similar size, I'm not going to say the same, <laughs> um, but yeah, with similar size, which makes life easier when you're setting up the seat position and everything like that, so it makes, ni makes life nice to, to drive together, actually. That bit where you've got to, the, the trust, it, I, I'm not sure how you really, it's, it's more from an experience point of view that you build up to know what the other guy says and you might not use the same words but the meaning might be the same. 
Yeah, exactly. And I think we also knew each other from a long time. When Jordan and I, we were not pro. We were looking at Max that was already a factory driver for a few years. And we were actually fighting against each other in the German Championship in different cars. So I always had big respect for Jordan and for Max, obviously, that helped me to get my first test at Bentley also. We slept in the same room the, <laughs> the test day. And uh, yeah, and then he started like this, and Jordan came straight after, and he deserved it after so many years in the Bentley customer team. So no, I think we have a lot of respect for the driver talent that uh, I have for those two, and uh, I think it's the same for the three of us. Does it help having a slightly older driver, a guy with a little bit more years, a bit more, um, I suppose, experience? Yeah, he chose good wine. <laughs> <laughs> and is it red or white? <laughs> Not red. Which which kind of the blends of the red? No, um, I like. Well, What's the I name mean, of the South African one? We are drinking. Ah, barista. barista. I love barista. Yeah. It's a shira. Barista with a with a proper steak. Obviously, with a barbecue, a braai. Yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you very much for taking your time out. I must say, in your Sparker overalls, they won't be used again in a, a Bentley. Well, at least for this year, um, in its current guys. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Go out, go and win a championship. All the best of the luck. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.